Bonjour à la communauté, c'est Marie-Hélène pour un autre épisode de La vie au temps du corona. Je suis présentement au Vancouver General Hospital, plus précisément au Jack Bell Research Center, euh, le centre d'épidémiologie de l'Université de la Colombie-Britannique. Bon, ça s'est rendu jusqu'à la côte ouest. Euh, on le sait que le docteur Horacio Arruda est le héros, euh, qu'on parle de lui, que c'est une star. Mais sachez qu'ici aussi, à Vancouver, on rock pas mal et je vais vous montrer pourquoi. Au mois d'avril, alors que je faisais mon petit jogging dans le voisinage, j'ai aperçu une bannière faite à la main sur laquelle il était écrit « Dr Horacio Back » versus coronavirus. Avais-je bien lu? Oui, oui. C'était bien écrit « Docteur Horacio » et c'est à ce moment que j'ai découvert qu'il y avait un autre Monsieur Horacio qui nous aidait à vaincre euh, le virus. Can you, can you hear me now? Now, yes. Okay. How are you? I'm doing good. Thank you very much for meeting up with me. This is an honor. <laughs> Oh my gosh, yes, for sure. I don't know where to start. It's, it's a great, I think it's a great story you are building. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So today it's May 14. Uh, I'm meeting with Dr. Horacio Back in Vancouver. We are uh, physically distancing, meeting on Zoom. It's a very, uh, 20, very much of a 2020 trend. Um, Mr. Back, what, would you introduce yourself a little bit? Um, I am an adjunct professor at the Faculty of Medicine, Division of Infectious Diseases at the University of British Columbia. Um, we are uh, not in, in the, uh, at the campus, basically, we are in the uh, Vancouver General Hospital uh, complex, and mm -hmm. we have a research center where I am talking from right now. Le 27 mars dernier, euh, le gouvernement provincial a octroyé 2,3 millions en fonds de recherche euh, pour euh, la Faculté de la médecine de l'Université de la Colombie-Britannique. Et là-dessus, Dr Horacio Bach a obtenu la somme de 395 000 pour un nouveau projet de recherche qui est en train de lancer, qui va servir, euh, qui, ce qu'il souhaite, à euh, identifier des anticorps pouvant bloquer la transmission du coronavirus. And uh, I understand that you are working on a very hot uh, research topic yes. these days. Can you tell us more about it, please? Sure. Um, what I propose to study is to develop uh, engineered antibodies that we do in the lab. They are based in human antibodies, but we modify them. And the idea is to uh, provide when we will develop that, um, a cocktail of antibodies that, that will bind the virus. So the virus, in order to multiply, needs to infect the cell. Cannot do anything outside, needs a cell. So if we can block the virus before entering the cell, basically it cannot infect the cells and definitely we stop the proliferation of the virus. Ideally, what we want to do is a intranasal, means like a kind of a puffer that the patient will, will take it through the nose mm -hmm. or through the mouth. We will see what is the best, but it's a delivery directly to the lungs. You've received in March a, a grant to um, accelerate your research. Um, uh, and actually, in parallel to that, there are many other researchers looking to find an antibody uh, across the world. Just recently, uh, as you shared to me uh, yesterday, an Italian company got approved for a, a new, new antibody test uh, approved by Health Canada. How right. is this helping you or not helping you in your research? So basically it's the same word antibody, but completely different. Basically, what this company is trying to, uh, I mean, the test they develop is to find if you were exposed to the disease, if you know or if you don't know, 
and can tell us, for example, okay, based on, uh, uh, on the result, you had or you have been exposed to the disease. Maybe you are asymptomatic, may happen. Maybe you have like a mild symptoms, like a flu-like, so we don't feel, you know, very strong. But it can be produced for the same uh, virus that is um, the COVID-19. So with this uh, platform, what they want to, uh, Health Canada, of course, wants to do is to check um, if you were exposed or not. So if you were exposed, not necessarily with the disease because your body contains the infection, you have to show a specific antibody in your blood. Okay? okay. So my case is different. My case is to develop antibodies to block the entrance of the virus into the cell. So both of them are antibodies, but different use. So your research will help, for instance, people that have never been um, exposed to the virus, for instance. Correct. Uh, there are some, we don't know yet all the, um, what we call the immunology of the disease. We mm -hmm. don't know if you develop antibodies after you are exposed or sick, how long this antibody will last. That is, of course, with years, we will know if they are protective or not protective. As, as you know, some vaccines that the idea is to uh, trick your body and produce antibodies for the next infection. Mm -hmm. Some diseases you have to take every year, some diseases every five years. Like hepatitis, you have to take three boosters, it, sorry, the first injection and two boosters, and some you get only one, like a polio, or some disease, it's only one, and you are protected for the rest of your life. That varies according to the to the infectious agent, basically. But definitely, we can, we can uh, check that with the same platform to say, okay, you have infected three years ago, you, are, you don't have right now the antibodies. Maybe you need to get the vaccine, hopefully we will have till then. Yeah. How is your research going? What is your uh, ideal timeline? Well, I guess, uh, you know, I wish that will be will go faster, but all this science always takes time. Um, not always, in general, you don't get the results straightforward. You have to do changes, modification. And my uh, policy is to, if you get results in the first time, should be something wrong. So you have to repeat because in general, it's not coming. But uh, definitely we have, um, we are trying already a set of about 10 different antibodies that we generated. Um, more results will come next week. The first five didn't work as we expected, so we continue to produce and analyze them. You know, it's a um, very hard work. It's, it's taking time. You know, we cannot force the organism to grow faster because that's the limit we had. They grow on, at their own pace, basically. I understand. We got to be patient. Yes, yes. You know, um, I wanted to be in the first 10 to get something, but you know, five we tried didn't work, but we continue, you know, that's a, exactly. the goal. Needs to come something for sure. We have to be very uh, optimist as well. By Vancouver General Hospital, there was a, a beautiful handmade banner with your name on it, Dr. Horacio Bag versus COVID-19, because as you know, um, I come from Quebec. In Quebec, uh, Dr. Horacio Arruda is the director of public health. And, uh, he's been also a star. So for me, seeing this, I was impressed that, to know that in Canada, we actually have Team Horacio from coast to coast. I found it interesting. I would be very happy to put you in touch with Dr. Horacio Arruda. I know he's also very busy, so maybe it's, you know, we can plan for this in 2021, maybe. when. No problem. He's a singer also. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> but we can do that on Zoom. There will not be any, you know, going out. Or You yeah. have a, a big community supporting you in Vancouver. Okay, so you will be a... Um 
fascinated to know that this um, a sign, basically, that was uh, outside of the building, uh, has a Quebecois signature. Also, was a surprise from my partner that she is from Victoriaville. Oh, okay. Avec, on so, salue les gens de Victo. Exactly. Mm. They have a good Putin, by the way. Okay. So the um, yeah, one day I was working and they, she just called me and they say oh, we have to come outside. I have I have a problem. And then when I went outside, I saw that uh, um, supporters here and the two kids and the another lady from the French community were waiting for me there and I say what is that and I was shocked also basically all these stickers were a, a copy of um, her uh, Facebook place where people just wrote about the uh, COVID-19 and my involvement in the find, trying to find the cure so that was a very impressive as that you say, explains. And, and I want to tell you that everything is handmade. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we could tell. I, I also myself signed a little note on it. Ah, J'ai and... mon petit mot sur la bannière de Dr Horacio Bach. Donc la voici. Team Horacio, from coast to coast. Merci. And I was curious to know how those people from Laval uh, and, uh, and other towns made it to put their own note. So I am well, really sure now that you, you, did you understand that they didn't come to here. Exactly. Yeah. It did not encourage traveling. We all followed Dr. Bonnie Henry and Dr. Aruda's recommendation. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that was a very interesting uh, surprise. This is great. Well, it, unfortunately, it, it, unfortunately, this sign was removed. Yeah. Maybe we can, uh, you know, send a request to uh, the world online. If you <laughs> find this banner, please bring it back. That would be kind. It may worth millions next year. You don't know. <laughs> Did you know Dr. Horacio Aruda before? Did yeah, so I heard the, about him through the Francophone community because some of them, they knew the name Horacio but they didn't know the last name. So they thought that the one that was singing and Dr. Aruda in, in Quebec is myself. And it's not because, you know, nobody uh, used the name, up, uh, the last name there. But uh, yeah, I heard about that and they sent me also the video and the, it's very interesting. And it's very weird because our name as written is not so uh, common here. It's very, very unusual. In general, exactly. you write with T instead C. But um, I don't know his background, uh, but uh, probably should be some Latino based uh, name there. Yeah. I think he has a little bit of a Latin vibe indeed, yeah. so maybe it is the case. When I did my research, it's a Greek name because he's a famous uh, philosopher from early, mm -hmm. early times. And the meaning is with penetrating vision. <laughs> this is strong. So you cannot look at me for a long time. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you can see, people look like that. I, I can you, hypnotize you, you know, so. You, you, perhaps you can see through the virus. Is this maybe helping you in some way? Maybe. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope uh, we we'll, uh, soon will get something, either the um, a therapy or the vaccine, although vaccine will take one year at least, it's not something fast will come and all this development, they take time because we can uh, neutralize the virus, we can use animal model, we show everything, but until it's going to human, it takes time. It's not something that, uh, you know, you have to pass a lot of barriers. So you have to um, generate a lot of patience, basically, to, 
to the results. But uh, definitely, we will. Uh, the, the government of Canada was very generous to give a, um, um, extra funding specific for COVID nineteen because mm -hmm. um, you know, for one side it's good, but from other side they they stop all the other research, and we see the same problem with the hospital. Probably you heard about that. That you know now is related to COVID-19, but most of the, if you are talking about the pap smear or cancer treatment, surgeries, that everything is stopped. And, you know, there are people suffering as well. So, Definitely. unfortunately, with science, the same. So, if you expected a grant to receive now, you have to wait for next year. But meanwhile, you have a personnel to pay, you have to maintain your yeah. life. So not easy. Uh, but definitely, yeah. So... We are blessed that we got the grant and allows uh, us to continue to work in this uh, virus, basically. We have hope. Always, yes. That's good. Always, yeah, that's for sure. Well, so we wish you good luck on finding the right cocktails of antibodies to, uh, Thank you so much. to help the world go through this pandemic. Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. Oh, Merci beaucoup. <laughs> Au revoir. Bye bye. Merci. Take care.